Hi guys and welcome to this episode of Fishy Angler. As you can see today I'm not fishing and I haven't been fishing for a couple of weeks. We had some snow, some cold weather, the ponds got frozen that you cannot fish open water but you cannot go on the ice because it's too thin and by the end of the week it's gonna be mid 50s again. So because of that I decided to paint some crappy jigs for spring and uh, while I'm at that I was thinking why not to show you guys easy and inexpensive way to paint the jig i mean if you ever bought some jigs from ebay or amazon unpainted lead uh, this is the easy way to to paint your jigs especially if you want to do uh, your own colors for your specific presentation so stay tuned we're gonna get onto it Well guys, to paint my jigs, I'm using the ProTec powder paint. So I'm gonna show you how to paint with them. It's easy and uh, you can find this paint on eBay, on Amazon. Price of course differs. I mean, you can find some for $8. Um, this is two ounce jar, but on Amazon I've seen them for 12, 14 dollars. So, but if you look for them, you can buy them for eight dollars you can find them so and I have different colors here and uh, today I'm gonna be painting this uh, 1 16th of an inch crappy jigs so I'm gonna do two colors today just to show you so here is the jig so let's get to it well, the way this paint works, you need you need to warm up a jig head uh, so you can dip into the paint. So, and we'll get to it just in a moment. So I'm using the biceps here to hold the jig by the eye. I mean, one thing is just to hold it, um, but most important, I'm using this because I don't want to paint get into the eye. So I want the eye to be uh, open when I do this. So also uh, I'm using a um, heat gun to heat up the jig and we're gonna heat up the jig for uh, several seconds and we're gonna dip it into the paint. So let's start with yellow. So the paint has to be fluffy and all loose, not clumpy. So the people that do a lot of jigs, they uh, they do fluid beds uh, that actually fluff it up the paint with uh, with air. But because I'm not doing too many of them, I just fluff it up with this stick. So here we go. Let's do our jig. So I'm gonna let the heat gun to heat up and uh, then I just hold it for a few seconds and then we dip it into the pan and just heat it a bit just to get the uh, loose paint off and then just do a little bit of just a bit back to the heat you know, if the paint is not melted uh, on top, then I do just uh, a little bit of heat on it. And as you can see, it comes out pretty good. So in this case, I'm just take that, take that jig, and I release the biceps, and you can see the eye is clear. So and I'm gonna hang it here too. To cool off on my uh, poor man's uh, jig rod <laughs> out of coat hanger. Well, I don't do them a lot, so that's why I'm using whatever I can get in my house. So, all right, so let's do a few more. All 
Now I just cover the eye. Get it on the teeth. Dip it quickly. Just knock off loose paint. And just do just a little bit on top. And here you go. And here is another jig. So as you can see, it's really easy and uh, it takes only seconds to do a jig. So, all right, let's do a white one. All right, just clean my stick here. And we're gonna fluff it up. White paint. Let's get a jig. All right. Dip it, give it a little bit of heat on top, and here it is. So it takes only a few seconds to hold it on a heat, this small jig. I mean, if you're doing bigger jigs, yeah, you may need to hold longer, but as you can see, the small jigs are just a few seconds and they heat up pretty good. So there you go. That's how easy to get the jigs painted. And, uh, if you want to get your jigs really uh, jigs paint uh, really sturdy so it doesn't cheap uh, you can take those jigs and uh, bake it in a rack put it in a rack or like this and bake it in uh, in the oven with 350 degrees for about 15 20 minutes and then it's gonna make that paint even more sturdier so as you can see the eyes are pretty good clean and the jig is painted really nice and uh, so I'm probably gonna do more jigs of course off camera but for now this is it I just wanted to, to show you what I'm doing after that so I have uh, these 3D eyes that I'm using uh, for these jigs and as you can see you can buy them on eBay in hundreds so different colors there's red there's yellow so I'm taking those and uh, I'm using um, a glue a crazy glue in this case this is what I am now this is for fly ties but you can use any uh, crazy glue uh, to glue the eyes on the jig on both sides and then I'm also using this uh, Solaris UV glue so and once I glue the eye on a jig I'm just put this Put this glue on top of the whole head kind of covering eyes and and the whole head all around and this is the uv um, glue 
So I'm using that with uh, UV light to cure it. And it takes only seconds. So I have this, oh, I have this UV light. It takes only a few seconds to cure that. And once you're done with that, it's gonna be pretty nice jig, which you can go and do, you know, I tie the jig, so. So we're turning these jigs into that. So, and Crappy loves this color, uh, the red and the chartreuse. Uh, this was the best jig that caught most fish. So, Well guys, as you can see, it's not that difficult to paint these jigs. All you have to do is just heat them up a little bit and dip it into paint and let it cure. If you want to cure even more, you can put them in the oven at uh, 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And uh, but I'm using the glue to kind of tie everything together. I'm, you know the the eyes that I glue on a jig, plus the whole jig uh, with the UV uh, glue. So when it dries, it pretty much keeps it all together, pretty good. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support. I'm nearly reaching 3,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but really helps me. It actually keeps me going with these videos. So just produced for you. So please hit that like button and I'll see you all next time.